Hey there everyone, welcome to Technoholic. In this video, we bring you the complete tutorial of Microsoft List. We will be talking about the templates, views, workflow, BI and how to access Microsoft List. So without ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we will be opening Google Chrome. Or maybe you can open Microsoft Edge based on the browser that you like. Now here we will be typing office.com and before actually we start let me quickly tell you the Microsoft list as of now is only available for enterprise and business office 365 users. So if you are using office 365 family or office 365 individual maybe you may not find Microsoft list. Microsoft list is very useful tool in project management and managing task and project or product planning or in planning and tracking things. So how you can start Microsoft list? It is pretty easy. Here you can see we are in our office.com or office 365 dashboard. You require to click here on this menu icon. Now from here you require to choose list. So we will be just clicking on list. Now here you can see Microsoft list dashboard. So it looks like this. So now let's talk about how we can create new list. In order to create new list, what we need to do is we need to click here on new list. And now here we have three way to create Microsoft list. The first one is the blank list or we can say blank document. Second way is simply import data from Excel and that's how guys we can also create Microsoft list. Then the third and the last one is by choosing existing list. So you may choose certain numbers of header from existing list and that's how guys we can also create a list. Then uh, we have bunch of templates also available here as you can see the first one is issue tracker then we have employee onboarding then event itinerary and so on so this time um, let's choose this issue tracker list so if i'm going to choose this template then here we go here we can see the headers the first header here we have is issue or we can say is a title which shows the issue title and then there is a issue description then we have a priority then we have a status and so on. What we can actually do is um, we can use this template if we like it or you can choose any other template based on our need. And even if let's say the template do not match 100% of what we are looking for, even though you can utilize or use the same template. For example, the issue tracker template may meet my 80% of need despite that i can use the template and then i can later on customize it okay so let's say you want your template to be blank and you want to create your own template from scratch so let me quickly create one list using existing template so let's choose this issue tracker and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to click here on use template and now let me provide the name of this um, list so it is issue tracker of let's say YouTube. Maybe I want to have a list of YouTube bugs or YouTube improvements that I wish or I want from YouTube to get fixed up. Now um, I can write here a description that I am trying to, you know, make a list of bugs or improvement then from here you can choose your own style or own color it really doesn't matter then um, again you know you can choose uh, icon based on the way you want it really does not or not going to affect any functionality of list then from here you can choose where actually you want to save this list so if you are using Microsoft SharePoint then you also have an option to save the list in Microsoft SharePoint. You will see the recent site options where you can save your list. So in this case, I would like to save it in Microsoft OneDrive itself. So that is why I'm going to choose this option, which is my list. 
and now I will click on create. So that's how guys we can um, you know create a list. Now as I said before this list only uh, caters 80% of my requirement and I wish or I would like to alter the headers or you know some header I would like to add another header maybe I would like to rename some header I would like to delete okay so let me just quickly try to delete one of header so let's say I want to delete this issue log by header so let's click on it now click on column setting and then click on edit now here on the bottom right you can see the option of deleting this header or deleting this column so just click on delete and now click again on delete and that's how guys we have delete issued logged by now let me add a column here the column that i would like to add here is the issue resolve date so when i clicked here on add column here you can see the kind of data or the number of data type do i have so here unlike excel you are seeing a lot of new data type for example person or manage metadata and so on but here in this case i want desired date of completion which means that the data type need to be date and time so let me select this one and now i would like to give it this header name which was desired date of completion okay so that's how guys we can provide a column name then if you like to enter description it's up to you you can add it then from here i can actually change the data type if i choose wrong data type then here we can um, you know customize our date data type for example if i want to include time if i want to make it friendly format so it actually based on us what we are looking for so it totally depends on what actually we are looking for then we have some customization for default value as well for example if i would like to keep default value as today's date so today's date is a variable so based on the date you are making entry uh, the default value will be that date you also have an option to select date and time so you can um, you know specify a particular date and by default you will see the prefilled data with defined default value so it's totally based on you whether you want to define a default value or not now let me click save and that's how guys we have added one more header or one more column now let's talk about how to create a data entry or how to enter data in our list so we have two method available to enter data one is by using form or you know by providing data one by one in order to uh, you know enter data one by one just you require to click on new and that's how guys we can see the entire form now appear so now what we need to do is we just need to fill up this following so let me just quickly fill up this form so this one is our title and here i can explain there is a huge play pause bug inside youtube because of this the users are facing problem and this need to be resolved as soon as possible full stop then from here i can define the priority so maybe this is very critical for us so that is why i have defined priority as critical and from here i can define status so this is like uh, in progress and then um, just like in progress is defined in yellow color we can also customize the priority critical color as well based on our need then as i said before we can also you know assign it to someone directly from here so let me assign it to the existing people that is present in this list so here we can see we have assigned this task to simran and then um, here we have this date reported so here we can provide date and then uh, if you want to provide issue url then you can if you do not then you can keep it as it is because this field is not mandatory the mandatory field generally being represented by star as you can see here in case of issue now similarly you can add image and can provide desired date of completion 
and that's how guys we have completely filled this form now i will click on save and that's how guys we can fill up this form okay the another method that i wanted to discuss with you is edit in grid view this method actually lets you quickly fill up the form in grid way just like we do in microsoft excel so here again let me define one more bug or one more issue with youtube let's say it's not properly working in youtube okay now here i can provide some description let me quickly copy the description from the previous cell and let's paste it here just to save time and then from here i can define the priority here in status i can define you know in which state actually it is then from here i can you know i can assign it to some users then here i can you know provide the date when this issue was uh, reported then here we can provide source image associated file desired date of completion and so on okay so after filling the data so you can actually create multiple data using grid view but in this case let's leave it with two rows but in order to avoid how we can you know reduce this video length let me just create only two rows and now i will click on exit grid view so as soon as you click on exit grid view the microsoft list will itself save the data so now here we go here we have two number of rows okay so now let's talk about views um you know the different different views with which you can view your list so in order to see or in order to toggle the view what you need to do is you need to click here on all item and then you can change view for example previously it was the standard view now it is compact view you also have option to show this list as a gallery so just click on gallery view and here we go guys here we can see how our list look like it looks like a card so based on your need uh, you can actually define the view okay so now let me quickly restore the previous standard view which was a list view and that's how our microsoft default list look like now the next thing about microsoft list i'm going to talk with you about is workflow is how we can set up rules in microsoft list in order to set up rules or in order to automate our list what we need to do is we need to click here on automate and then here we need to click on create a rule so as soon as we're going to click on create a rule we will see this kind of splash screen or this kind of pop-up will appear now here it is giving us all kind of permutation and combination so for example let's say in your list a column value is changed now what action you want to trigger when there is a change in column list so from here we can define the rule so let's click here on choose a column now from here what i would like to choose is status so what i want is when the stator headers or status column of any entity changed okay so we're going to put a condition here when status is completed then he need to send me a email so what can i do when the status is set as completed the user will got notified automatically and now we need to click on create and that's how guys we have successfully created our first rule similarly we can click on create a rule and that's how guys we can create multiple rules now let me quickly close it and now let's talk about one more thing so that's how guys we can create several workflow or rules inside microsoft list at maximum with list you can create as max as 15 rules okay also i would also like to talk with you about one more tool which is power bi integration with list so as we know already microsoft power bi is very powerful tool in data visualization so after creating lists actually you can utilize microsoft power bi to visualize the data in the form of charts facts and figure and the data will automatically be pulled by microsoft list so how are we gonna do that for that here we require to click on integrate 
and then we need to click on power bi and then click on visualize the list now let's wait for the power bi to get open and if you are opening this power bi for the first time then you may see different screen and here we go guys here we can see the Microsoft Power BI tried to create some kind of infographics by itself which you can always play with and can modify using the variables or the headers you have. So that's how guys we can visualize the data based on our list. Okay so now let me quickly talk about Microsoft list at a glance and what we covered till now. So we started talking about Microsoft list and its USP and we also talk about three different way to create or generate Microsoft list. We also talked about the prerequisite of Microsoft list and then we saw how we can create Microsoft list using template. We also saw how we can delete, alter, modify the headers. We also try to create different different views inside Microsoft list and we also saw how we can you know create rules and make a workflow we also saw how we can utilize microsoft list data using microsoft power bi which is deeply integrated or connected with microsoft list which is actually the very positive and very big thing if you're already working in office 365 environment the last thing that i'm going to talk with you about is calendar view so in order to create calendar view what we need is we need to click here on all item and then we need to click on create new view now you may select calendar as you know the view type and then um, here you can you know provide star date on calendar and here you can choose any data that have a data type of date so from here i can choose you know desired date of completion as my start date on calendar or maybe created date as a, you know the date on calendar and end date i can define it as a desired date of completion now let's give it a name as a calendar and click on create and that's how guys we can see the timeline and the event start date with calendar view in microsoft list as we have decided and at any time you can also change your view like this which is based on your need so that's all guys from my side in this video i hope you find this video helpful and informational if yes then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and if you have any questions or any doubt regarding microsoft list then please do let me know in comment down below and i will try to answer your question as soon as possible till then take care and bye bye